The next thing I want to do is drill a pilot hole for that first three quarter inch end mill, a place where it can drop into depth to cut around the slot. Now it's hard to determine exactly where that's going to be, but we can use our existing tool path to determine that starting point. Now one of the things I want to do is to turn on only display selected tool path. Then I'm going to make sure that that one three quarter inch tool path is selected. What I want to do is to convert the image of this toolpath into geometry so that I can find that starting point right here. To do that, we can go to Backplot. Now, Backplot, of course, looks very much like Verify because it's the same Mastercam simulator. And all we're going to do in here is hit Play, and we can see it generates the toolpath. Next, I'm going to go to this tab up on top for Backplot, and there's a choice up here that says Save Toolpath. By selecting this, you'll be able to tell it what level to save the toolpath geometry on. So when I click that, it'll automatically create a level for me, or I can pick one of my existing levels. So I can put this on Miscellaneous Geometry. I can pick the line style, the line width, and even the color and I'm going to pick this bright green color here and we'll OK that and OK again. Now we can see that toolpath is in bright green. Now I'm going to do an F1 and zoom in for that starting point. So there are two points. So this is where it starts. I'm going to make sure I pick this starting point here and we'll OK that. Now I'm going to turn off my shading so that I can grab these lines and delete them. Now I'm going to hold down my shift key and grab this so I can pick it all the way around as a chain and delete that. And now I'll do a fit, hold down my shift key and grab this and that and delete those. Because all I really wanted was that one point. Let me zoom back in so I can see my point. Now we have a place to drill. Now make sure your insert pointer is right before the 3 quarter inch end mill operation. In there we want to insert a drilling operation. But before I do that I have to make sure I'm in the right plane. So I'm going to go to planes and set this to a front plane. Now I can go to tool pass, drill, and I'm just going to say window points and put a window around that point and OK here. For my tool, I want to grab this 13 16 drill. Now this isn't a regular drill. It has a 165 degree point. So it's fairly flat on the bottom. This way the end mill won't have to plunge too much into the bottom area. I'll put in a comment that says clearance hole and we'll take a look at our cut parameters. So we're going to be peck drilling. Take a look at our linking parameters. I want a clearance height of incremental 2 inches. I want to retract a 0.1. Top of stock, incremental, and I want to set this to 0.75. So that's 3 quarters of an inch above the point which is the outer surface of the cylinder. My depth, I can tell it to go right to where that point is, but actually I want it to be about 50 thousandths above that point. So it doesn't go all the way to the bottom. You could make that less, but I'm going to go with 50 thousandths. Again, our planes should be set to top, front, and front. We don't need any rotary axis control, and we'll OK this. And there's our drilling operation. I'm going to turn on my shading and we can see that I actually have the wrong plane here. So I'm going to go back into that operation and reset this to a right side and make that the same and regenerate. Now we're pointing in the right direction. So again, if you select the entire group, hold down your control key and unselect the one inch end mill and you verify these four operations, 
you'll see it drill a hole, plunge into a hole, rough around the part, and then finish one side and then finish the other side.